Hey guys, Miss Julio. And I'm Cassie, and this is our first YouTube video. Okay, guys, it's us again. Hey. Welcome to the channel, YouTube channel again. This video is talking about for the first time I meet uh, Cassia, Cassandra in Cuba. This is the first time. I live in the US. I am from New York. Um, and this video is going to be all about how we met, like he just said. So I guess we can like start from back when I like booked the Airbnb so it was a group of friends guys and girls it was like 15 of us total and we were like we need to find a place that's gonna like accommodate all of us because um yeah it was like 15 16 people i sent like a whole bunch of airbnb options it was a few of us sending like airbnb options and then we all like voted and then at one point like a few people were dropping so we set on one place we booked it and then a few people dropped after, you know, how that goes, planning a trip with everybody else. Um, and we dropped down to like, I think 12 or 11 people. And we were going to change the place. But we ended up staying at Blue Mansion um, in Havana, Cuba. So, and it's like outside of downtown Havana. It was like more in the inskirts, like in the you know, more residential. It's the hood, uh, you know? <laughs> well, it was like a nice, it was a nice area. And I was super excited because I've never been to Cuba. None of my friends that, you know, I went on the trip with ever been to Cuba. It was all our first time. And we were super excited. You know, I've heard a lot of things about Cuba, the people, the culture. So I was ecstatic. I was like, a week without my phone, I'm in. I can like, you know, relax and not have to worry about anything back at home and just like, you know, be stress-free. So I was super excited. And um, yeah, fast yeah. forward to June, June 20th, 2019, I first landed in Cuba and uh, my friends and I got a taxi and headed over to the Airbnb. Um, and um, what's her name? Elena. Uh, Elena. She she had um, had everyone like she was asking everyone's information. And then afterwards, she was like, "Hey guys, meet me at the bar. We're gonna like go over the house rules and everything like that." And guys. The place was humongous. Like, talk about the house. It's huge. He worked there, so of course. Yeah, he's, he has pool, bar. He's, he's everything, you know? For house fun, he has the gym. Well, it didn't have a gym when we were there, but now they have a gym. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, true. Yeah, and the bar is like, you can actually dance inside. Like, it's an actual bar inside of the house. And, like, they have an outside patio and, like, outside dining. And, like, he was saying the pool. How many rooms? I forgot. It's, well, before, before you stay, you're going to you stay for, the, for your group. Maybe it's only seven. Oh, so room. right now there's 10 rooms. When we were there, there's seven rooms. Um, and they accommodated all of us. Everyone was fine. Everyone had a, um, a bed. Everyone was comfortable. Um, and okay, so going back to <laughs> Elena and having us go over the house rules. And mind you, I have not seen Julio yet. I had walked into the bar. And I sat down like at the bar stool right by the bar and there was like little chairs where you like you can sit down and you know just grab a drink or whatever and then that's when I saw Julio and I was like oh, oh my gosh this guy is handsome <laughs> get the chiara <laughs> get the chiara shorty and um the whole time i wasn't even like paying attention to what elena was saying because i was like wow he is very handsome 
Um, but yeah. yeah, what do you? What no, do you he's, he's, he's. Did you see me at the bar? Or no. Yeah, the beginning of the, the first is coming the group, and he's staying in the bar, you wait for the people, by making the cotton, you know, daiquiri blue. Oh, yes. The house is, is upsize blue, and the drink is, is the daiquiri. But it, I don't know, you put in liquor blue, I make it a walking drink. I don't know, the Alina is talking the roof of the house, everybody's listening, you know? And what maybe, was your role at the house? What did mm -hmm. you have to do? No, me um, is the bartender and the security. But in the morning, the, the first time he's coming to the group, I make it the drinks, you know, I stay maybe around one or two hours if the people is need by green mojito. But I need going to my house after. Yeah, I went back six, six story. PM. PM. Yeah. He stayed all night. I leave the next day, maybe eight thirty or nine in the morning. Yeah, yeah, he used to work overnight. Yeah, all the time, and I see the people. I know she's hungry, making hamburger, fries. She's like, I don't know, drink. Yeah, I bring the bar, I put in salsa, reggaeton. Yeah. This kind of different music. So I like hip hop. I like, I'm Cuba, but I like hip hop, you know? He does. He listens to a, Who's your favorite artist? <laughs> who's your favorite yeah, artist? No, right now I like Post Smoke. Post Smoke. He listens to a lot of Post Smoke guys. So like he loves rap music. Anyways, we have to go back into the story. We're getting sidetracked. Um, where did we leave off? Where did we say last? Oh, oh, um, Elena. Yeah, she was telling us the house rules. Uh, what everyone did. So she was like, Julio is the bartender and the security guard. Um, so if you ever need something, like reach out to Julio. And I was like, if we need something, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, it was like, wow, he's very handsome. But of course, like I didn't speak to him because I'm super shy and I was like really nervous. So I didn't say anything um, like throughout the whole entire trip. Yeah, me neither. He didn't say anything either. Like he was always about his work. He didn't even like look anyone's way really. Like if we needed something, he would help. But other than that, like it was just strictly work. There was no, yeah, hey, socializing, nothing, none of that, nothing, nada. No, this is, you know, the main security is my war, you know, but as he's come, is coming for the group, you will have guys and, you know, ladies, I don't know if maybe stay together, or, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that was one thing too, but we'll get into that later. But um, fast forward to like the night before we were leaving, June 24th which is today, June 24th, 2021. Yeah, it's today. And um, June 24th, 2019 is the first time like I had the guts to actually go up and talk to him and look at where we are now. So, you know, everything happens for a reason. But, um, all right, yeah. so let's talk about June 24th, guys. Yeah, this night you're drinking a little bit. You're drinking a little bit. Yeah, and I'm not a drinker. Like, I, I don't really like to drink that much. But that night, I was like, it's the night, last night in Cuba. Like, I I want to, you know, have fun with all my friends. But, uh, <laughs> so what did I have? What's the dark rum? In, it's um, Havana, Havana, Havana Club. Club. Havana Club. It's good. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. yeah, you're drinking this. I stay and play in the pool, uh, how do you say the name? The, name the pool the, table. The pool table. Yeah, so, um, backwards a little bit. I um, I saw Julio by the pool table, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is my opportunity to talk to him. But I'm like, I'm overthinking, guys. So I'm like, what should I say? I don't know what to say to this guy. Like, what if he speaks only, you know, what if he doesn't understand what I'm saying? So I was just like, do I know how to say in Spanish? <laughs> like, it was just, everything was just going through my mind. And I was like, shut up, Cass. Just go over there. <laughs> <laughs> so I went over and I was like, hey. <laughs> no, I didn't do that. Yeah. I was so nervous. I was just like, hey, um, uh, do you want to play pool together? So he was like, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, he's my English. Okay, you know. Okay, so, 
So, um, we played pool. I think he won the game. Yeah. He wouldn't let me win for sure. Julio never lets me win that. He, like, he tries his hard. <laughs> so, I'm pretty sure that he won that game. Um, that's the only game he'd ever win. But, um... <laughs> but... I don't think <laughs> But, um... Yeah, we played pool together, and after the game, Julio just like ups and just like he was like, "All right," and then he left. Yeah. So, like, talk a little bit about. This. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, why did you leave? I don't know. I work in the house, you know. You may stay in the security, and you look around all the time in the how do you say for this in the backyard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I did look at all the stuff. Everything is good, or maybe some. Or this is I don't know. It depends. This is your job. Some people is drinking, going to the pool night, you know. But yeah, I check all the stuff. Yeah, I go back for the bar. It's not where you know. It's, it's I work. I don't stay all night playing. I don't know. Playing pool. Yeah. But my thing was the minute he walked through, I was like, oh my god, he doesn't like me. Oh my god, did I say something wrong? Oh no, like maybe he has a whole family, maybe he has a girlfriend. I don't know. What did I and I, well, all we did was play pool. So I was just like, oh my god, did I fuck up somewhere? <laughs> um, but yeah, I was just like, oh well, he doesn't like me, that's it. <laughs> I tried, but like I'm such I'm such an overthinker. I like to I overthink too much. Yeah, this is true. Relax, tranquilo. Uh, pero <laughs> um, at that point, there was no more like um, sodas. So, me voy pa la tienda por to buy. I'm still learning Spanish. So <laughs> give yeah, me a break, guys. Yeah, he um, does the store of to what? buy refresco de naranja. And that's orange soda for anyone who doesn't know. Okay, Shadi. I'm learning. <laughs> um, so I went to the store by myself. Mind you, it was like maybe 1 a.m. in the morning. I don't know what I was thinking, guys. And I'm in a whole other country. But it is what it is. You only live once, right? YOLO. Um, so, <laughs> so I went to the store by myself. And it was probably like a... It wasn't far from the house, honestly. And I was like, okay, he's in the bar right now. Maybe I should try talking to him again. Maybe, you know, maybe it was just him having to like look over and make sure everything was okay in the house. And do you remember what movie you were watching? We, he was watching a movie inside the bar. Yeah, it was Black Panther. Black Panther, yes. And um, I walked in there and I was like, hey. <laughs> I was like, um, can I get some ice? And then he <laughs> was so quiet. I was like, can I get some ice? And he got me ice behind the bar. And we started talking a little bit. I was like, oh, is this like your favorite movie? And then. Yeah, what kind of stuff, you know? Yeah, what's the movie? Yeah, we watched the movie. Not the whole thing. I, well, I, came, I, was, in. I came in like towards the end of the movie. Yeah, it's um, not the beginning of the movie. It's yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. Twenty minutes, twenty five to twenty minutes. There. Yeah, it's yeah. Something. It was only like twenty minutes left. Yeah. What kind of forever? What kind of forever? <laughs> yeah, uh, you told me about for you going to this in Havana. He's come to this house. He's give you a class. Yes. Like salsa. Yes. Yeah, it has this. Well, it has this music in the bar, you know. I put in salsa. It's, it's dance salsa. Yeah. So we found me and my friends found like this Airbnb experience where you can learn Cuban salsa and then go to like a rooftop after and dance like salsa all night. So I had told them about this, and I was just like, I really, really want to learn salsa. So um, he put on some salsa music. Do you remember the song? No, it's a different sound right now, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember the song. Yeah, this time is 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 all this music I put in this time. Yeah, it sounded good to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you know, I I like salsa and Cuban, but me I like more hip hop, all this kind of music. 
It's me, and it's funny because I'm the one that's listening to more salsa, and he's listening to more rap. But I really think it's because of our languages, me wanting to learn more Spanish, and I feel like I'm learning more Spanish through music, and he's learning more English through, you know, English music. So it actually works out. But anyways, back to the story. Um, so yeah, I told him I wanted to dance salsa, so he put on some salsa music, and we danced a little bit of salsa. And then, um, yeah, he stuck a little bit more, you know. We no, no, no. Um, I I put on some compa and some soca music because um, I was like, oh, have you heard of like any music outside of like Cuban music? But he wasn't familiar with Caribbean music, mm -hmm. like outside of like hip hop and R and B. So I put that on, and do you remember the name of the song? Mm -hmm. The guy is Charlie Black. Charlie Black, Charlie yes. Black is the guy. Um, Girl, I love the way that you want for me. me. Oh, this is the song. Uh, I don't know, guys. If you guys know this song, please like tag it below or like you know make a comment. I think it's something party animal. But if you know the song, <laughs> comment below. Uh, but yeah, I played that and I danced a little bit of soca, and he was like, whoa. Girl, you got it going on. <laughs> <laughs> so he was really surprised. He's never seen any. I mean, he's seen like out, you know, dancing outside of like salsa. But I think like seeing like, yeah, you know, it's, it's whining and all that stuff was so different. And he was like, oh, my God, that's amazing. So after that, we had sat down. And we started talking. He had um, asked, do you remember the first question he asked me? Yeah, he, is, he, has, he has boyfriend or husband, you know, he's come for the group. Yeah, you see, maybe this this guy I see the beginning. Well, no, he's friend, but you know, he's come for the group. Everybody has together, <laughs> go out together, stay. I think he's, yeah, all the type. He's talking with you, I think it's your boyfriend or something. Julio, yeah. So it was a group of us, like I, I mentioned to you guys. It was a mix of guys and girls. So he thought one of the guys that was on the trip was my boyfriend. That was not the case. Everyone on the trip was strictly a friend. So he was like, oh yeah, do you have a boyfriend? And I'm thinking, oh, maybe he has a whole family here. So, <laughs> but um yeah, he asked me if I had a boyfriend. I was like, no. And then I asked him and he was like, no, I have no girlfriend or anything like that or family or whatever the case. Yeah, and this time he's, he's not how to stay alone. You know, I, I work in all yeah. nine, six in the morning. Yeah, yeah. And I asked him too, and I was like, why don't you have like a girlfriend? And he said that. He was just like, I work overnight and, you know, I just don't have time. So I was like, Mm-hmm. That's what they all say. <laughs> no, it's just true. No, though. but it's very, yeah, it was very, very true. Working like his work all schedule. Night, um, the next day, I was sleeping all day. He literally the whole day. So like, can you guys just imagine how communication was, you know, after I left? But anyways, um, we had, we had uh, like talked and we shared a kiss and you know, the next day I was leaving and I was so sad. And I was just like, why did I wait until, you know, the night before to talk to this man? Like, what the hell? <laughs> like, I don't even know if I'm ever going to come back to Cuba. So I was muy, muy triste. No, this is, you know, I, I never talked with you. I think you stay for, the, you know, his friend, you told his friend, but I, the beginning, I think he stayed together. All this group stayed together. I don't know. But it's me, me working. I know going for work for talking for people. Hey, you last mm -hmm. boyfriend, you have you go out with me? No, I yeah. don't work. Right. Okay, this night I you know I talking with you. more well, I'm talking together. Hey, give you give me your phone. I give I give you my phone. Is you leaving? You know I you text me. Oh, so leaving that day was yeah very hard. Um, I gave him a hug goodbye, like everyone was so nice. 
And like, even in the car ride heading to the airport, I was so sad. Like I was starting to get teary eyed because I'm just like, this was such a great trip and I wish I wasn't leaving. And I was like, I, I kept telling myself, I'm coming back, I'm coming back. I'm going to come back and yeah. Oh, and I forgot to mention guys, um, we exchanged phone numbers. He had asked me for my Facebook um but he we exchanged phone numbers mainly because of course we have no service and i was like what if i spell his name wrong and i can't find him on facebook so i was like okay so he was like just let's exchange numbers and just go from there and um yeah when i landed in new york i was like okay so not right when i landed i wasn't like you know I was, right isn't that is this no <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but, um, yeah, I got home and like got situated and then I had reached out, I texted him and I was like, Hey, this is my number. Um, text me. And I, I was like, I can't find you on Facebook. Cause remember he gave me my, his, his Facebook name and I couldn't find him. And then he didn't respond. And I, and I was like, hey, and I wrote again. I was like, is this Julio? Oh, three times. Though. All right, relax. It was <laughs> yeah, this is true. It's, it's taking me home three times. Though. Are you finished? I don't know. Maybe, maybe finish. you leave. Maybe 10.30, no? 9, 10.30 for the airport, for the Blue Mansion? Yes, I left around 10, 11 a.m. My flight was like at 11 a.m. Yeah, I so... went back from my house only. I, I need to go to sleep. I stayed wake up all night. Really, I need to go to sleep. Yeah. But this is tells me I don't answer for this. In Cuba, for this time, my phone is not has 3G. You mm. need 3G for you have the internet. You talk, I don't know, sit down in your house, in the living room, and you go to the park. Yeah. And buy the car for the internet. For in this moment, you have services for your phone for, I don't know, calling WhatsApp, look Facebook, all the stuff. Yes, he's not lying. And I completely forgot that. I knew that too. Like, you need a Wi-Fi card, one. Two, you need to go to the park and to use it if your phone doesn't have 3G or more. Um, if you have 3G, you can use it in your house. But anyways, we'll get into those details in the next video about like dating a uh, Cuban and you know, the lifestyle and all that stuff, all that jazz. Um, but yeah, I reached out and he didn't answer. I'm like, oh my God, maybe this is the wrong number. And I'm like, stop. Like, I literally have to tell myself, stop. It's too much. So um, um, I did call him and he answered. He was like, hello. <laughs> Hola. No, I said, what did you, how do you answer the phone? Uh, oigo. Oye, oigo? Oigo. Oigo. What does that mean? You never said it. Oigo. Oigo is when somebody calls you and you tell hey, no, I need this. Uh, I think you say que vola or hola. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, so, maybe, yeah. maybe. I, I'm not sure. But I was like, hey, is this Julio? And he's like, yes, yes. And then ever since then, June 24th, 2019, we've spoken every single day since then. And we decided to make this video on June 24th because, you know, it's our anniversary of us, yeah. you know, finally, like, I guess, talking and dating. And, you know, it was such a special day for both of us because, you know, we found each other. I found my best friend. So you guys will see. We are... <laughs> we are... We are lovers, but we're also, like... We're everything. We're homies. We're best friends. He's amazing. I definitely found oh, my life awesome. partner. Um, oh, thank you. Um, my life partner. And yeah, I, I don't regret that trip. I don't regret anything that happened. Um, everything happened for a reason. Even us like having less people go on the trip and rethinking like, should we stay at this Airbnb? And we ended up settling for it. Everything happens for a reason and everything aligns the way that it should. Um, so always believe in that. And, um, 
yeah i guess that's it if you guys have any questions of course comment below please make sure to like this video <laughs> and subscribe to my channel like how can you not like this face wait <laughs> you seem so annoying <laughs> No, I no, no. I love this war. No, he like see that's the thing. Like everything he learns is from me. So if I say like, oh my god, you're so annoying, he's getting it from me. Like if you hear him say anything, <laughs> it's really from me. But anyways, um, thank you guys for watching. Um, we're gonna be, you know, we're gonna have a lot of content, especially with him learning English and like yes. learning uh, about yeah, yeah. Yes. It's hard. Yeah. But he's getting it. Like, you know, I talked to him. He's fine. And I think he's so used to my voice, too. But, like, other people, too. And, like, the pace that they talk in. But, anyways, we'll get into all of that in future videos. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, and see you guys soon. Okay. See you, see you soon. See you soon, Shari. Yeah, see you soon. Get the cat Okay. Adios. Hasta luego. Bye. Hasta pronto. I see you soon. Oye. Oh, yeah.